Morning, Bill Kim here. Uh, I pastor the uh, Congregational Church and the Presbyterian Church, both here in Clarion. Uh, my friend Mr. Bunn behind the camera. Um, somebody will have to put Ted in front of the camera, but right now he's behind the camera. And uh, we've been working on this for a number of weeks where we do a two or three minute blurb on a sermon summary. And uh, this week we read from the book of Mark, verses 33 to 50 which is actually um, one lesson that Jesus tries to teach interrupted by John, his disciple, with a uh, only related question. Um, in the beginning of John, or Mark, chapter 9, uh, verse 33, Jesus has arrived to his destination with his disciples and he asks his disciples what were you talking about on the way um, I think knowing full well what they were talking about and they're afraid to say because they were talking about who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom or what it takes to be the greatest or could they be the greatest and uh, this is the story where Jesus takes a child and at one point he picks up the child and he says this is what it takes to be the greatest um, if you want to be first you have to be the last of all and you have to be the servant and you have to be connected to the little ones, and you have to take care of the marginalized. Um, in the middle of that conversation, John says, Oh, Jesus, Jesus, by the way, there were some guys over here who were casting out demons uh, in your name, and I told them to stop because they weren't with us. And Jesus basically says to John, um, Hey, if those guys aren't against us, then they're for us. So why don't you just leave them alone? I think, he says in his own way, Mind your own business, because your business is something else. This child I'm holding, that's your business. If you lead one of these little ones astray, if you don't take care of, um, I, I read it to say, if you're not reaching out for the marginalized, if you're not taking care of the less fortunate, if you're not sharing the gospel with those who don't know, if you're not helping people in their walk with God, if you're not helping others as they try to find God in their lives, if you're not doing those kinds of things, it's better that there was a large rock tied around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. It's pretty graphic at the end of that uh, story. He talks about if your foot offends you cut, you, cut it off. If your hand offends you, cut it off. If your eye offends you, pluck it out. It's better to go into heaven crippled than it is to go into hell with two good feet or two good hands or two good eyes. Uh, the point is, he's pretty serious about this whole taking care of others thing. Um, at the end of Mark chapter 9, uh, verse 50, he says, uh, be salt, be spice, be life. I think he's saying, be gospel, be faith, uh, and live at peace with one another. He's holding that child and he's saying, take care of people like this. Reach out to people like this. I think he's saying, we should mind our own business. And he's saying that, our business is taking care of others. I think that's the call of the gospel. Thanks. Have a good day.